The most expensive coffee comes from feces? Let's find out. And number seven, oysters. Oysters are now considered a luxury. They haven't always been the food of the filthy rich. In the early 19th century, oysters were cheap as chips and an important food source for the working class in coastal communities. A snack so plentiful that they were used to bulk out meat pies. But overfishing and pollution have had a catastrophic effect on oyster stocks, and the scarcity has pumped up their value. A dozen in a top London seafood restaurant will set you back around 51 pounds. It seems that some people are happy to shell out a slimy mollusk or two. Of course, you're also buying the oyster's infamous aphrodisiac qualities. Be careful who you dine with. And number six, Kopi Luwak coffee. Okay, so I know we're talking about food, but hey, drinking's also technically a part of food. And obviously, with bags of Kopi coffee selling for up to $700 a kilogram, it's certainly worthy of its place on the list. Kopi Luwak, or also known as civet coffee, is made from poop. Yeah, it's inexpensive because it came from that. So the beans are eaten, partly digested, and then defecated by Asian palm civet or civet cat. Then, they obtain their expensive coffee. Some believe that the part digestion and fermentation caused by the animal's stomach acid enhances the flavor of the coffee, with other critics in agreement that it's simply a gimmick resulting in truly terrible espresso. Sadly, there are growing numbers of intensive civet farms, where animals are confined to cages lish like battery hens and force-fed. And number five, Wagyu beef. Wagyu, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but it simply translates as Japanese beef and it can come from any of four different breeds of Japanese cow. The meat is intensely marbled with fat, which renders down the cooking process to make the meat tender, moist, and melt in the mouth. Yum. Some fans describe it as falling apart like a soft piece of fish. This amazing meat doesn't just come naturally to qualify for the Wagyu mark the cows have to be reared and fed according to strict guidelines, with calves being given special feed to guarantee the signature fatty marbling. Kobe beef, which is one of the most highly prized, fetches up to 500 pound a kilogram in Japan. That's a lot of money. And number four, Iberico ham. This is a type of cured ham produced in Spain and Portugal. This finest Iberico ham is from a range of pigs that have a diet of only acorns during the last period of their life. The classification of Iberico ham is extremely strict, with black label ham considered to be the very best, which is produced from purebred Iberian pigs which are roaming in oak forests and feasting on acorns. On top of that, the ham is cured for a lengthy 36 months. According to the Guinness World Records, most expensive leg of ham commercially available is an Iberian Manchado de Habugo, retailing at a whopping 3,192 pound and 76 pence. Dang, people can go to some extent just to eat meat. I mean, chicken nuggets are also nice, they should just try that. And number three, white truffles. These truffles are only found in the Piedmont region of northern Italy. These highly esteemed truffles will only grow among the roots of certain trees, which is why they're much scarcer than any other type of truffle and have particularly intense flavor and aroma. The record sum paid for a single white truffle was by Macau Casino owner Stanley Ho in 2007. He splashed out $330,000 pound, for one of the largest truffles uncovered in decades, weighing one and a half kilograms which is a pretty extraordinary price for a weird underground fungus. Woof. And number two, caviar. Caviar is the pickled roe of the sturgeon fish and is considered to be one of the world's greatest delicacies. It's tricky to handle and package, but more significantly, it's incredibly rare. The most famous caviar is from the beluga sturgeon found in the Caspian and the Black Sea. This peculiar species is now critically in danger, with very little of its eggs can be sold legally. It takes up to two decades for the beluga sturgeon to reach maturity and its adult size. Even rarer is the roe from the albino sturgeon, which is now almost extinct in its native environment. And at number one, saffron. Well, this is not even a question. We all know about saffron. This spice is nicknamed red gold because of its rarity. It comes from the vivid crimson stigma from a crocus flower, and it's used as a coloring agent in food. Why does something so small cost so much? Like it's competing with the price of gold. The reason for this is pretty simple. Saffron crocuses only flower for a week or two a year in the autumn. It's collected and processed by hand, and each small flower has only three stigmas, which means it takes around two football pitches of crocuses to create a kilogram of saffron. That's as many as 300,000 flowers. Well, that's it for today. Want us to know which product on the list is gonna be your dream food in the comments down below. Get it, because they're too expensive as food. 
Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.